Hello everyone, today we will review quite recent release from the Zoki Mura company. As you can see it's Horde and Horde 229 and that's quite a famous German fighter which was built in few numbers but still it's very interesting concept, this flying wing. And also Zoki Mura's kits as usual they offer quite an unusual uh, view on the uh, plastic kits. That's why this Horton will surprise you a lot. Uh, moreover, this Horton is accompanied by plenty of original accessories. One of them is concept note, as you can see here. Uh, it will be issued simultaneously with the kit, so you can buy it and you can have plenty of reference material. It's quite a thick book, as you can see, and it's quite interesting. We will we'll have a separate review for this book. But today we will review the uh, kit itself. As you can see it's packed on the quite huge box, so it doesn't even fit on my mat. Um, mat is A2 size. And that's a top opening box, so let's open it and check it. Don't forget that it's 132 scale, so here we have some interesting pictures what can be achieved with this kit. As you can see very detailed parts. Um, I mean, if you consider that this is so Kimura, it's not that much surprising. But I mean, uh, you get used to good things, that's why it's not that much surprising. Moreover, here in this kit uh, we can find transparent panels, you will see it further in the review. And also here we have some also small pictures of the airplane, safety information, I don't know why they keep writing this like uh, words in Japanese here because that's like basically import expert uh, kit and it would be better for us if it would be if it will be in English and here it's written in Japanese as well. So uh, kit is packed in this box, so we open it and we see quite a plenty of spruce as you can see. I have to say that this kit will be really detailed and it will be really huge. I mean here we have wings. As you can see wings are not that much not that small. And I think it makes sense to begin from the top to the bottom as usual. Just let me make some space for all these huge parts. Okay, uh, let's begin from the first sprue on the right side. I will take my scissors and we will check them. Quite interesting is that uh, Zoki Mura decided to use transparent panels. Uh, we don't often see such kits and moreover uh, Zeus panels will be more useful with Zoki Mura approach to the kits. I mean, when we have this detailed internal structure and all these parts, um, it's a pity to cover them with panels and not to show them to the public. So, here we have first part, uh, that's the front panel. I will zoom the camera, now we don't need to see the box itself. So here you can see the front panel. As you can see it's molded as a one part, single piece. It's transparent, but it's barely transparent. I mean, it's not like clear plastic. It's a bit muted, uh, which is a bit surprising. I mean, it will get a different effect. Not like on, in Tamiya kits when they have these clear additions. But molding quality, as you can see, really nice. We have rivets, we have recessed panel lines. They are quite deep, I would say. So it should look good. Then we have a uh, separate screw for the cockpit part. Just give me a sec. Here it is. Uh, here we can find a canopy and the dashboard and the target site and some other minor parts. Again, as you can see, canopy can be positioned in open uh, version. It's quite nice, it's really excellent molding, you won't find you know, any of the flesh bits or something else here. The only sad thing are those pieces, I mean, Zulkimura have has to abolish this. 
Otherwise, as you can see, attachments are quite thin, so it should be a pleasure to build this kit. Next, we have another fuselage panel. Uh, I think this one will be used for the closed canopy version. As you can see, it's modded all together. Still, quality is quite okay. Again, you can see the difference between this muted plastic and this clear plastic. You can see here my finger very uh, very clearly, and here it's muted. Mm, I think it's possible to use such effect in all purposes, but it will be um, it will require some imagination from you. Uh, here we have four wing spars. Uh, just give me a time, I will check. No, they are not similar, so I would show you them all. That's the 30 second scale, that's why we have separate spars for the wing, uh, separate sprues for the wing spars. I mean, you don't usually see it in your typical 172 or 148 kits. So here we have first wing spar. As you can see, molding quality is really good. I mean, all small features are carefully molded from this grayish plastic. It's, it became a bit lighter. I mean, before it was quite thick and quite heavy. Now it's more uh, flexible, I would say, as you can see. So it can be easier to work with. Next sprue is also wing spur, the same molding quality, so we shouldn't be disappointed, I think. Next we have two more wing spurs, really nice parts. Here we would have to uh, delete some small bits, but otherwise it's really nice. Now I'm waiting for the <laughs> Horton in 48 scale, because it should be great as well. I mean, just look on the previous Horton and Shinden. They were really great for the, their scale, and I mean, it's only difficult thing, I mean, I will admit it, is panel's construction, because sometimes you have to bet all those gaps, but, I mean, this, this is the price you pay for such detailization in the kit, it's quite logical. So here we have uh, some panels, I think it will be positioned outside, as you can see, surface is really nice. Uh, no flash, no other molding damage. Uh, just here inside we have this push rod. Uh, I would say it's sink marks, not push rods. But I mean, if you will be showing those parts, you would have to fill them in. Zokimura also surprised with this kit because they offered um, a special conversion kit uh, which will allow you to build two-seater version. It's not out yet, but I mean, you don't usually see manufacturers just supplying update kits, they usually issue it as a separate kit. I mean, that's quite a clever solution because n not so many people want to buy like plenty of kits. So here we have wheels and other parts. As you can see on wheels we have even uh, molding continental and even size of the tire. It's really surprising. I mean, I've never seen this detailization on the plastic parts before. Here we have uh, winding gear legs. Here wheel hubs. As you can see wheels will be assembled from two hulls, but they are molded separately from the hubs, so it will be easier to paint them, to weather them. Here we have fender, here more of those oh, wheel winding gear legs, and here is the front part, and here front wheel parts. 
quite nice utilization. Of course this kit is also supplied with special set of figurines um, because pilot on the Horton had special equipment. So Zoltimura issued several various mini figurines which you can place in the cabin or close to the airplane so that it will look a bit more realistic. Here we have other structure parts as well as machine guns which are molded as a single piece. You don't have to glue barrel separately or something else, like for example in Meng kit or some other kits. It's just you cut it from the sprue, you remove all extra bits and you place it in the model. Quite nice. Here we have some tiniest parts. Again, look on the detailization. I mean Everything is molded from the plastic. It's not resin, it's not a PE, it's just a plastic. And it's really nice. I guess this review will be quite long because uh, we just finished right half. There are two more sprues. Uh, and we haven't started yet the left half. Now imagine assembling all those parts, I mean, this is definitely not a weekend kit. Uh, here for example we have tanks, fuel tanks. As you can see they will be assembled as far as you can guess from two halves. And here we have some other extra bits, ailerons or maybe flaps. And what else? Here are panels which are not transparent ones. Mm, that's interesting. I mean, I think it will be used for the landing gear or for something else. This part. Look on the quality. I mean, it's perfect. As far as I remember, there is also there will be also P because the Okimura main idea is that you take the kit, you build the model, and you have the finest detailization just out of the plastic, so um, it can work. Here we have other parts, other structure elements, and all parts are very nice. Nothing to complain about here. I mean, even those complex structures are molded as one piece, you just have to clean all the small bits and you have part ready. Beautiful. I guess the article about this airplane will be also quite huge because of the number of these screws. But still, as usual, I recommend to check photos as well because sometimes some readers find some interesting things which you don't notice on the video. And I also like write some things which I forgot to mention here or maybe which are worth mentioning in photo form. Here we have other structure parts, you can see even rivet in here on these parts, and it's really beautiful. Those complex structures, I mean, it's really amazing how they are molded, how carefully they are molded from this greyish plastic. Here we have dashboard, one more, and it's really beautiful. As far as I can guess, frame is molded separately from the uh, transparent part, so you you can paint it separately or you can just use masks and connect parts, it will be up to you. Ok, we finished uh, the right half of the box, now we move to the left half, which contains mostly transparent parts, which will be interesting to see. Ok, here we have some panels, top panels, as you can see rivet and recess panel lines are present on this part, so you don't have to worry about the utilization of this part, it's perfect. And here we have, I think it's a wheel cover, 
Again, that's a muted plastic, as you can see here. Uh, so everything will be uh, seen in a muted view. I mean, I'm already interested how it will look like when you assemble a model with all those panels not painted. But still, some people can say that uh, yes, those are transparent ones, but what do you do with seams? Well, I guess there is no need to make whole transparent airplane. You can just make, let's say, cutouts, as some people do. And a steel airplane will look good and it will look nice. And quite interesting solution, look here. We have parts for the engine gondolas and those are really transparent. I mean, you can see it here, not muted ones, but really transparent so you can see the engine, you can appreciate its detailization. Quite a clever solution because, I mean, in the fuselage it will be mainly you know, those structure parts, tank, maybe cockpit, which can be opened through the canopy, but engine, engine here is much more detailized and it's more important to show it in a full beauty, let's see. Wings are uh, separated on the one sprue each, so we have one sprue for the left wing, one sprue for the right wing. Of course I will show only one because there is no need to show double parts and waste our time. I mean because this review is already quite long. Okay, we have here wing parts. As you can see, molding quality is on the same level. Uh, we have separately molded ailerons, we have separately molded flaps. And this is quite beautiful. It should look really nice on the assembled model, I guess. Again, nobody like stops you from covering all those transparent panels uh, with primer, then painting them, and then forgetting that they were transparent. And, I mean, if like manufacturer supplies such solution, it will be a sin not to use it. Nevertheless, uh, I remember that 100 pieces were sold in US in August, and I haven't seen even one assembled. I mean, it's quite surprising. People just buy it for the stack or I don't know. I saw several topics on the assembling this, uh, this model, but they're like abandoned. So it's quite interesting why people do this. Here we have wing structure, wing grips, uh, some other external structure parts, again wing grip, uh, and fuel tanks, of course. Don't forget that Horton had like full wing of the fuel tanks, so that's why they're so huge. Again, you should have noticed that wing, such a complex part, I mean, structure is quite a complex, uh, is molded as a single piece. You just have to remove small bits and you have it. Then we have two separate sprues uh, with engine parts. Of course, we will check only one because they're absolutely identical. But I mean, the size of the sprue for just the engine is quite surprising. And we will see now why. Because engine is not supplied, for example, like an Italieri kit, uh, this um, F104, like a single piece which you just assemble, it's supplied in this form. As you can see, you will have to assemble every small bit of this engine by yourself. You have all the wires, all the plumbing supplied in a plastic form, and molding quality here is like no questions at all to it. The only thing you will need for this engine is, let's say, your careful work and also careful painting because painting and weathering. Because such parts should be appreciated in full form. And one more engine sprue, as I said. And then we have a small bag. 
with assembly manual, masks. Yes, this kit features masks. So you don't have to worry about the small parts. As you can see, they're quite nice. Um, and they already used uh, so Kimura masks. I can say they're really useful and really easy to use. Here we have paper for SWS fan club. Of course, it won't be used in Europe or in America because it's only for Japan. Then we have uh, decal sheet. The call sheet is printed by Zoki Moore as far as you can guess because there is no mention that it's cartograph and it's quite surprising why they didn't use cartograph for such huge decal sheet. Still quality is really nice. We have full uh, digit register here present so you can build whichever uh, airplane you want. We have even decals for the dashboard and for side panels as you can see here, here and here. And also some plenty of stencils we can have, we have separate decals for the uh, dials on the dashboard. So if you want to you can place them separately. And we have even, even swastikas, even the separate uh, walking zone so it should be more than enough. But I mean, for such scale, I would appreciate a bit more, let's say, marking options. Maybe what if options or some kind of this. Nevertheless, now let's move to the next one. And the next one is assembly manual. Assembly manual, as usual, is done in form of... Uh, I mean, manual to the real airplane, as you can see, it's really nice. And here we have short history about uh, of the airplane. We have even this nice manual on the engine, I mean on the separated parts of the airplane. Then we have assembly manual itself, where the assembly process begins. And it, have, uh, it has quite detailed uh, text into even simplest uh, operations, so you won't get lost. And it supplies some interesting information about those parts. As you can see, it's really like, I mean, <laughs> manual itself is like work of art. Nevertheless, it's quite interesting. And in the end, as usual, we have parts map and oh, marking options. There are two of them. That's quite a thick book. So that's all for today, uh, as I said in the middle of this review, don't forget to check full review on our website and I would like to thank you for watching this quite long video review and don't forget to subscribe to our video channel and Facebook group. See you soon.